Hi everyone, I'm Siad Malim from Soma Academy. Previously, I discussed how to find the area of uh, a rectangle, a square, and a triangle. However, today I'm going to look at how to find the area of a circle and a parallelogram. Now, before we get started, I just want to ask you guys to subscribe to this channel. That way, when I release new content like this, you will get notified. Let us start with an example of finding the area of a circle, as the one shown in this example here. So this circle has a radius of 7 cm, and in order to find the area of the circle, we use the formula area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, where pi can be where pi can be 22 over 7. Okay, so as long as you have the radius, you just plug in that number into the formula. But first, you have to always write down your formula, and remembering the formula is also key. So given that the formula for area of a circle is equal to pi r square, and we have the radius as 7, so the area of this circle will be 22 over 7 multiplied by r which is 7 centimeter times r because it is squared so that will give me you cancel by 7 1 here by 7 is also 1 so 22 times 7 gives me 154 but the units are centimeter times centimeter, so that gives me centimeter squared. So the area of this circle is 154 centimeter squared. Remember the formula, pi r squared. r is 7 in this case. So you put the value for r into the formula, and because it is squared, you have to multiply itself again. So that gives you... 154 centimeter squared let us do another example where instead of the radius we are given the diameter of the circle so first step is in order to use this formula you have to find the radius radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2 in this case diameter is 28 meter divided by 2 will give me 14 meter as the radius so once you have the radius you plug in the formulas area of this circle is equal to pi r squared so pi r squared where pi is 22 over 7 and what's your radius 14 meter because it's squared so you have to multiply by itself okay then after that is just simplifying by 7 1 here by 7 is 2 2 times 14 is 28 so that gives me 22 times 28 so what will that give me when you multiply that this will give me 616 meter squared let us do an example where we are finding the area of a parallelogram but before we move into an example let me say a few uh, properties of a parallelogram as you can rightly see in this diagram here the opposite sides of a parallelogram are always equal this side where I have the base here is also equal to that side. This side of the parallelogram is also equal to that side. This perpendicular line that is meeting the base at 90 degrees is always the height of the parallelogram. And in order to find the area of a parallelogram, the formula is area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height where base is this distance here 
and the height is that perpendicular line meeting the base at 90 degree. If you are given this side, you cannot use that as the height, similarly that side, but you have to always find the height that way. Okay, so let us see an example. Okay, so that is the perpendicular line, which is the height. Uh, I have this side to be 40 centimeter, that side 50 centimeter, and the height here to be 20 centimeter. In order to find the area, we say area of a parallelogram is base times height. What is the base in this case? It is 40, 40 centimeter multiplied by, what is the height? The height is, in this case is 20 centimeter. So when you multiply those two, what do you get? You get 20 times 40, which is equal to 800 centimeter squared, okay? Let us do one more example where we are finding the area of a parallelogram. In this diagram here, the base is not given, but what we say is opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal because this side is 80 meter, this bottom side must also be equal to 80 meter. So the area for a parallelogram is equal to base times height. What is our base? That is 80 meter. What is our height? That is 60 meter. So in order to find the area, you multiply base times height, which is 80 times 60. That would give me 4,800 meter squared. Let us do one final example of finding the area of a parallelogram. Here we have a parallelogram that has a base of 30 centimeter, but a height, what is the height in this case? Although these dotted lines are outside the, uh, outside the parallelogram, this is still the height. Why? Because if you were to drop a perpendicular line from here, this side will be equal to that side because they are opposite. So in this case, it is 15 centimeter inside or also outside too. So the area of the parallelogram will be the base times the height which is the first step I will always encourage you to write. Always write your formula down because it is the one that will guide you to the solution. So I have my base as 30 centimeter. The height is this side is equal to that side. So it's 15 centimeter. When you multiply these two 30 times 15, that is 450 centimeter squared as the area. I hope this was a valuable information for you and thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Until then, happy learning. Thank you.